Good evening, this is Josh Spicer from GameWisdom.com, and I'm back with a supplemental video for Big Pharma. Previously, when I played, I completed an intermediate scenario, and I was faced with a bit of an opportunity to do more with the... We've changed from Domino's Pizza... Uh, damn Twitch sound, sorry about that. So I was faced with the opportunity to do some more of the advanced mixing of the game, and try to create some upgraded drugs. Unfortunately, it was running a bit long, so I decided to make this second video just exploring this concept completely. So, to briefly recap, the plan is to take this Stage 3 cure, and I want to remove the narrow pupil side effect. I'm going to do that by combining it with this ingredient over here. And doing that's going to require both the mixer and the shaker. So, let's get this rolling. basically repeat what I did earlier in order to get this to level 3. Should I want to pause the game too, that would help. on a component, basically down one. We also set to move it down two if we upgrade. So watch this. this ingredient right here. Because this has the cure in the first position, and it's low enough that it will activate with the reduced anxiety. So we're gonna import this. And we need to use the multi mixer. So here. Now, I'm going to set the bottom one, this one, as the base, and you'll see why. Watch carefully. Alright, so what happened was, because this one was set as the base, this overrides any cures or side effects that are in these two positions, because that's where its cures and side effects are. So with this one, because I moved it down using the shaker, these two spots get overridden. Also, I'll actually do that again one second. Also, because this one is the base, it takes the concentrate. So this is actually more cost effective because it automatically took it down from 20 to 6. So now. And just to make this pill completely badass, I'm going to run it through. Oh, wait, I'm going to get the analyzer. But we can actually start production of this, so you just gotta drop it down by. Do it by one or two. Let's just do it by one for right now. Wow. 
lot we have. So we're going to produce a pill. I'm dead again. There. We're going to produce a pill that actually cures two things, which, as you can see, gives it a lot more value. doesn't narrow pupils. It's also gonna have a much higher drug rate. So let's go over here. You can see it's gonna be doing both of these. And it's already got a higher than our normal one because of the second pill value. Now to make things even better, Because everything takes such a long time to get done, because these are two day processes, you can actually just cut this out of the equation. Okay. I'm gonna run this one through the analyzer. This will let me see what are the concentrate strengths to get these two working at their best. Done. We're going to get the concentrate valve for the strength valve. Now this, even though if you're just watching this video for the first time, everything came about pretty quickly, this is only because I spent over an hour working on this combination, getting everything working over here and over here. I'm going to be playing more Big Pharma with more scenarios, so don't worry about running out playing this. Okay, so... Fortunately, we just got a week. I can't do anything until this is done. You can see just how much room it actually took to make this as well. Basically, it's going to take longer depending on how many things it has to analyze. Alright, so we just gotta sit around and wait. This one's almost done. If I want to, we can go down this route as well. 
they're not really competing with us because no one else has a dual cure system yet. Now, could we actually do three? Let's see. Let's see. This is in position one and three. is when it's at three, and so is this one. So I can get these folks to 100%. This will make the cures work a lot more often. It's gonna raise the drug value up dramatically. So this comes out, okay. So this comes out of the combination as six. I can lower using the ionizer. He changed, uh, Tim actually also received and now that is right so it's going to come out I'm going to run it through the ionizer now I'm going to set this up right here to do and what that and if you look it takes it right to its max strength so this is perfect okay so again so far kill printers A really badass drug. Wisdom drug and diabeto mate anxiety. <laughs> I love these names. So if we go over here, I don't need this pill anymore. You can see that the cures are firing a lot more frequently. So this is going to raise this cure rating up, which in turn is going to raise the value of this drug. And we really want this to get done. Looks like they're going for number four. Aren't they special? Okay, so let's see. Our pill should be moving out of C to C plus by now. There we go. Is that C plus? And it's gonna keep going up and up. Just to get us some more research points. As you can see, this will upgrade to make it so you can shake things a lot more quicker. I want to see this will actually become like quicker to work as well. Let's 
do that, we need some more points. Right, how are we doing? This pill is still doing really well. Come over. Oh, as you can see, we're now at the B rating for it. That's good. Come over here. You can see there's not a huge demand for this pill because I am just completely and utterly saturating the market with it. Unfortunately, that will affect the price. As you can see, it is going down. It's fluctuating based on the demand. So we need more people to have anxiety issues in order for us to make a profit. Now, if I was playing this for real, I would probably start to look at switching production to another pill. Or, I'm sorry, to another cure. But this is simply just an experimental video. I'm not going to be doing things too crazy there. So let's see. I just really want to see what this Sachet Maker does. I figure we got the money coming in, so we don't really need to worry too much about that. Alright, well that's going. I wish there was a super fast speed, just for these situations. is going down because the man is going down for this type of thing. That's almost done. Okay, almost there. And this is why if you're playing this game for real, you really need to have multiple drugs of different types working. Even though we have a really, really good product, there's just not a lot of people because we overflow the market with anti-anxiety pills. Alright, the satchel maker is done. Okay. Wait, uh... I think Tim needs to update this. It says, get a bonus of 15. Well, this should be, it shows such bonus per cure 30. So if I bump this up. So now that's been upgraded. So what the shaker can do now is I can set so that it will move things by two places instead of by one, just to save time. Okay, but now I really want to see this sat Increase combined value by 35 for each draw. So, let's see that in action, shall we, folks? This one, well, oh, well, it's not convenient. Like, I planned that, which I only did. Okay. So, here, we can see the difference. Let's go over here, shall we? Let's see how we want to see this. I'm trying 
trying to get just right. Let's pause for a second. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that I upgrade the pill planner, or printer, sorry about that, pretty far. Look at this down here. Pill printer is at stage 4 upgrade, meaning that instead of only raising the value by like 20, or I think 22, it's raising it by 32. While this is only stage 1, so let's bump this up a little bit more. And now, this should give us a lot more value. Let's take a look. Now it is... See, this is still considered B plus, so it's got a 20% value. This is C plus. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to get more in line. This will overtake our draw because it's getting more value from the fact that we have multiple cures on it, and that this drug will slowly get up to B and probably A. Now, where were we over here? Surge have an increased combined value and effect strength. Okay, so while these guys are working, bump it up again. Now, oh, uh, here's the other thing. If you look at this, this takes three days to produce one sack. This only takes two. So that's the thing to keep in mind, is that I can make these quicker, but this will give me more value. The problem though is that it's basically three days compared to two. And that's one of the bit of the min-maxing optimization that you can deal with big part. Now if I put one more cure on this section, I, I swear I think I'm just mispronouncing it. I just have this bad feel. But if I put it on there, one more, it will raise the value by another $50. So that will make it so much work. Now if we look down here, it's finally overtaking it. Now again, the value is so low, once again, because there's just too much anti-anxiety pills on the market. I've over flooded things. This should become a B rank very soon. Okay. I was hoping you could upgrade this to lower the processing time. But maybe that's what some of these things up here will do. But I am going probably wrap things up for this video. For those of you who are watching this live, uh, stay tuned. I'll be back on in like two minutes with another video. But I think for everyone watching, you have a good idea of some of the more advanced of Big Pharma. You can see we got the satchel going here. We did some mixing and shaking. 
and we produce a much better component or much better pill in the process. Well, obviously, there's so many more things we can do, especially once we start playing at the advanced level and everything becomes unlocked. But I'm going to end things here. I'm going to save this for just posterity. All right, so once again, if you're watching this live, just hang around. I'll be back in two, three minutes. If you've been enjoying this on YouTube and would like to see more videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. That'll help me out a lot. If you haven't watched it already, please check out the previous video, which should be posted by the time this is up on YouTube as well. And make sure everyone to check out Game-Wisdom.com for posts and podcasts relating to game design and the industry, as well as our ongoing Patreon campaign to secure some very much-needed monthly funding to keep all this going. You can find me on Patreon under Josh Beister or Game Wisdom, and any donation would be greatly appreciated. And lastly, make sure to, for those of you watching this on YouTube, you can catch me on Twitch usually nightly around 10 Eastern, where I'll be playing a bunch of games. And that will be under GW Bicer. So again, if you're watching this live, just stick around for a minute. I'll be right back. And for those of you watching this record, thanks so much. And uh, be sure to check out the next video that will be up real soon. Take care.